Whether you're new to Hootsuite or you've been using it for years, maybe you even set up a profile and now you haven't been on it for a while or you're not using it to its full potential, we're gonna start at the beginning and go step by step, not too slow, I promise, just right, and uh, really give you an idea of all the capabilities there are and how to get them set up and get you rolling with this so you can make your business and your social media management so much quicker and easier starting today. Here we are at the Hootsuite homepage, and if you need a little more information about features, plans or pricing, resources, you can click on those links at the top. But as I said, we're gonna go ahead and sign up for a free account here. Now, if you have one, obviously you'd go log in, but we'll start here. So you go to sign up. So there are three different levels of service for Hootsuite. There's free, pro, and enterprise. What I recommend for most of my clients is the free service, and I imagine that's where you're going to start. There are a ton of different options within it, and from the analytics to the scheduling to the monitoring, it's all available there. So that's pretty much what we're going to talk about today. Now, if you want to upgrade at a later date, the Pro is a, uh, another good alternative that has a little bit more advanced analytics. So maybe you're, you're moving along in your social media development and you're ready to get a better idea or better handle on all of these different um, campaigns that you have running. That would be important for you. Or you're a larger corporation and you need to add more people into this account then pro or enterprise might make sense. But as I said, the free account is wonderful. That's what I recommend for almost everyone that I work with, and that's what we're gonna focus on today. Select the free one, type in your basic information, and we are off. All right, and it is as easy as that. We are now into the dashboard. We have an account going, and hopefully you've already set up your social media profiles either on your own or using some of the other DocStock course videos. We'll begin by adding a Twitter profile. Now here, if you're logged into Twitter and you click connect with Twitter, it's going to go ahead and just automatically connect you. I am not connected right now, so we will have to do that ourselves. At this point, you type in your username and password and click authorize app. So I've just added my personal Twitter feed here. And what we're seeing, this all just populated on its own. We've got the home feed along the side. That means anyone that you're following the way that your Twitter screen would normally look. Uh, in the middle, you have mentions. So those are people that have uh, included your Twitter handle in a tweet. And then along the side there, we have direct messages. So obviously, those are people messaging directly at you. So now I've added my personal Twitter account and I wanna add my Facebook. We come back up here and return to the Getting Started tab. And we'll select Add Another Social Network. In this case, we're gonna to go to Facebook and we will click Connect with Facebook. So just log in with your information and password here and click Log In. So I've now entered my information, I clicked log in, and this pops up because I am an admin on a lot of different Facebook pages, but you might not see any of this lower part. You might just see that upper box where it says your name with the green checkbox. If you do manage other Facebook pages, as I do, and you want to add those to your Hootsuite as well, you can scroll down, and pick any that you would like to add here. So we'll just pick this one for an example and say we can also go down to our Facebook groups and choose if you want any of these to show up. So I'll choose one and go ahead and say finished importing. So now we've added Twitter and Facebook, and as you saw, all the Facebook pages, profiles, personal pages, and groups can be added in that same step. We'd go back to getting started, and you can add any of your other social networks. Uh, and if you don't see them in the social network tool, you may find them here in install apps. From this page, you'll see you can view all apps, featured apps, premium apps, or free apps. We're gonna check out the free apps. So if you have a YouTube account, Instagram, Tumblr, Flickr, MailChimp, uh, 
Evernote Constant Contact, which you may have learned how to use in the DocStock email marketing video. WordPress is a common blogging tool or website tool. So any of these might be ones that you want to add and they're all very easy, you just install. So we're going to go ahead and add the Instagram app. So we'll come up here and click install app. Select the box and finish. Now Instagram is here on my dashboard and we will go ahead and connect. Okay, so I went ahead and I put in my login information. Now it's requesting access and I am going to authorize. So here on my dashboard, now we see Instagram. So you can keep adding and each time you'll go back up to getting started, whether you're adding a social network or more of the apps. And once you have all of your profiles in, then we can get started with really using them.